but it happens on both sides. Uh, Donald Trump has said terrible things about liberals. Uh, you know, no, about, and, and about you Biden. About, uh, deplorable. He, he doesn't attack Biden voters. Oh, I, I would I would disagree. And, and and if not Donald Trump, many in the Republican Party. But I mean, I examples. I always hear Donald Trump attacks voters, but I, I never see examples. I. I would love, send us the clips, Leslie. Really, Trump doesn't attack Democrats. Let's go to the tape. Who allowed Israel to be attacked and now he's not even helping Israel? And Jewish people that go for Biden and the Democrats, they should have their head examined. They should have their heads examined for not supporting him. That seems like an attack on Jewish voters, but there's more. Joe Biden and the Democrats wanna prosecute Americans for going to church, but not for burning a church. They believe you can riot, vandalize, and destroy, but you cannot attend a peaceful pro-America rally. They want to punish your thought, but not their violent crimes. I mean, this just isn't even true. Nobody is trying to prosecute people for going to church. And there's a long list of attacks on Democrats that Trump and his allies use almost daily. I really need everyone to spare me the faux outrage and the pearl clutching about this. Little collection of things that Donald Trump and high-ranking Republicans call liberals on a daily basis. Anarchists, anti-American, deranged, communists, corrupt, compromised, groomers and perverts, thugs and traitors. And it goes beyond just attacks and smears. The stuff that he's saying isn't even true. And they've built up these narratives and Republicans buy them, especially Fox News viewers. And they think the Democrats in Congress are doing things that they openly disagree with. The Biden gun control agenda is part and parcel of the left wing crusade to weaponize government against law abiding citizens while letting criminals roam free. They're all over the place never seen anything like it. You're afraid to walk through one of these Democrat cities. You go out for a loaf of bread, you end up getting shot. As president, I will end the weaponization of our government, including the ATF, the FBI, and the DOJ. They've weaponized our country. No Democratic officials are trying to let criminals roam free. The idea that Trump cares about the broader American population just isn't true. He's not only attacking Joe Biden and trying to create a sense of unity. I mean, just look at how he treats people in his own party who don't support him. No longer part of the MAGA camp if you donate to Nikki Haley. And that's how he treats people in the GOP because it's not really a party to him, it's a cult. It's a cult of personality and everyone must worship him. And you can see this in how his supporters behave, the lengths they go to defend him. A new ranking, and I'm going to add, in my view, a highly questionable ranking of presidents, is turning heads after Biden came in higher than both Donald Trump and Ronald Reagan in his wildest dreams. The survey was done by the Presidential Greatness Project, who claimed to be the foremost organization of social science experts in presidential politics. This is infuriating in so many ways. 154 respondents they are the ivory tower elites who in no way represent the view of the American people. No, but it, it also goes to show you, though, how history can be written and some of it can be built off a lie as well. But no, this list is bogus. Everyone knows that, you know, Obama is not that high. He was a terrible president. <laughs> how is that not fair? How is it not fair that Trump is ranked last? Any objective observer can look at his time in office and see it was a disaster. A disaster that ended in January 6th. This just goes to show they're more interested in playing stupid games. This just shows how little they care about doing anything for the American people. It's all about defending Trump. And even Fox News can't handle it. Sometimes. Illegal votes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I just think we have to be very clear. She's charging, uh, the other side is welcoming fraud and welcoming illegal voting. Unless she has more details to back that up, I can't in good countenance continue showing you this. I want to make sure that maybe they do have something to back that up. But that's an explosive charge to make that the other side is effectively rigging and cheating. Uh, if she does bring proof of that, of course, we'll take you back. So far, she has started saying right at the outset welcoming fraud, welcoming illegal voting. Not so fast. In, in the face of an outright lie about election fraud, they had to cut away from her. She was a bridge too far for them. And what she needs is a reality check. The idea that Trump is only attacking Biden just isn't true. And we've shown that. And of course, you knew that already. But this type of stuff gets repeated constantly on Fox. And sadly, millions of Fox viewers believe it. There's this social conditioning for the cult of Trump. And her attempts to paint Trump as a victim here really fall flat under the weight of his own words and actions. This isn't just political sparring. This this is about holding people in power to account, and she is unwilling to do that.